Facing backlash from shareholders, Credit Suisse chairman apologized for taking the one and a half centuries old bank to the brink of bankruptcy. Credit Suisse, one of the world's 30 key financially significant institutions, was bought by rival UBS in a $3.25 billion deal backed by the Swiss government. To facilitate UBS's takeover, Switzerland invoked emergency legislation, bypassing Credit Suisse shareholders who would have otherwise had a say in the matter. Bank's chairman Axel Lehmann issued an apology acknowledging that the bank had run out of time despite his contradictory belief. He said, I'm truly sorry and I apologize that we are no longer able to stem the loss of trust. Lehman was the chairman of the beleaguered bank for a year. Speaking further, he said that up until the week in which the first merger with rival UBS was announced, he had believed in a successful turnaround for the bank. But the rapid downward spiral of events meant that the bank could not be saved. After years of losses, Credit Suisse came to the brink of collapse before UBS came to its rescue with a merger engineered and bankrolled by the Swiss authorities. Until the end, we fought hard to find a solution. But ultimately, there were only two options, deal or bankruptcy. The merger had to go through, said Credit Suisse chairman Axel Lehmann. At the time UBS bought Credit Suisse, the Swiss president, Alan Berset, called the deal one of the greatest breath for the stability of international finance and that an uncontrolled collapse of Credit Suisse would lead to incalculable consequences for the country and the international financial system. The Federal Reserve and Treasury Department had also welcomed the deal, as failure of Credit Suisse came just after the failure of Silicon Valley and Signature Bank in the US. As part of the deal, Credit Suisse bonds worth $17.3 billion were erased. UBS paid 3 billion francs or $3.3 billion for its rival in an all-share deal that included extensive government guarantees and liquidity provisions. The deal between two of Switzerland's oldest, biggest and best-known Swiss banks was engineered to keep Switzerland's reputation as a global finance centre intact. Credit Suisse's trouble came to light after it reported that managers had identified material weaknesses in the bank's internal controls on financial reporting as of end of last year, which fanned fears that the bank might be the next domino to fall in the aftermath of Silicon Valley and Signature Bank's failure. Credit Suisse was designated by the Financial Stability Board, an international body that monitors the global financial system, as one of the world's 30 important financial institutions until it was bought by UBS.